All right, I'm doing a, yesterday I uh, installed a swarm that we caught at work in this wary hive. It's designed to be a top bar hive and I've converted it into a frame hive. Uh, it's one I sell on uh, eBay, uh, $40 shipping, starting bid 70. It's a kit, uh, seems to be doing well. The bees seem to be very inactive this morning. Uh, rained all night, still cool outside. Um, I'm not going to take them apart, but I'll tell you what's in. Uh, I've got a kind of like a bunt cake feeder inside this one. Uh, the bees come in the bottom and feed and return back into the uh, hive. It's it's inside that uh, top super. Uh, anyway, this hive right here, the uh, swarm was installed yesterday. Uh, you can see I've got grass in the opening to restrict the entrance so they don't have to defend too much. And... Uh, like I said, they're, they're very inactive this morning. I know they're there, but they're just not moving around. Then this one right here is a Langstroth hive. It's got a top feeder on it. And I installed this right here as a bee package from a Voiles honeybee here in Louisiana. Uh, tomorrow will be a week. And I haven't disturbed them. I'll probably check on them tomorrow it'll come time to check and uh, we'll see how they're doing they're also very inactive uh, not really any bees flying around I just uh, expanded the opening in this one yesterday because it seemed like they were just so condensed in there trying to get through that one small opening it was about a half inch opening so I opened it up here we'll see how well they're they're doing with that. Here we've got a bee returning to this hive. And over here are the two top bar hives that I built from scratch. And you can see there's tubes running between the two. I'd originally designed these to be one hive and uh, put little small holes in the end so that only the bees could get through, not the queen. But I've blocked them off and I've made two hives out of them. This one I've also opened the, the deal on, pulled all the plugs out, because they were pretty crowded going in and out. This hive right here is also tomorrow bill week. It was the second bee package that I installed. Uh, all of them have been very tame, except for this one. It's a little more aggressive than the rest, but not bad. I've got two uh, chick feeders uh, for small chickens inside. They're about a quart each and uh, there's rocks in the trough to uh, keep the bees from drowning and uh, I figure one well one lasted about three four days so two will last about a week along with the other hives and uh, the wary hive has it's about two quarts that it holds and uh, anyway I saw some comb in here almost a full a full bar of comb uh, they seem to be doing well they're not very active this morning either. <laughs> Seems like all of them are a little docile and tame. And then this right here is another swarm catch. Uh, caught these two days ago. These have been in the hive for two days. I've still got the restriction on, on their entrance and I'll change that. Uh, Given in about a week. Uh, they ought to be moving around enough to, to need a little more room. And also this has the uh, uh, chick feeders in them, two of them, quart each. Anyway, this hive right here, you'll remember it was swarm catch number four at the uh, England Air Park. And the wary hive over there was the swarm catch number five at SJC in Alexandria, Thai plant. Anyway, that's where we're at so far. Things are doing good. You can see the Langstroth hive in the background there. Uh, very, very inactive, all four hives, and I intend to uh, catch some more swarms and install some more in hives. Uh, they'll, they'll be the, the worry type, and I think I'm going to try and build a Langstroth hive. But anyway, uh, that's where we're at. If you have any questions, comments, please feel free. Signing off with the, let's see, who are we? We are the 
professional amateur beekeepers of central Louisiana. <laughs>